up and welcome to day to day ray with me your girl ray ray guys i am in full stress mode it is 10 54 in the morning i have been fighting all morning with a video that would not upload i did just upload the jellyfish paper lanterns but i did do um a whole complete cake mix hacks thorough it's like a 44 minute long video it is explains everything i research stuff everything that people asked me i answered in this video and it wouldn't upload there was a corrupted file somewhere hopefully i got a fix but i'm not uploading it until i don't know when <laughs> so right now like i said i'm in crunch mode so now i'm getting ready to make um the cookies and i have the cake to do today today is cake day so i am stressing I did go out with my girlfriend last night because I haven't brushed my hair yet. <laughs> I went out with my girlfriend last night because she's getting ready to leave for like a whole month almost. And um, so we hung out and everything. Um, but yeah, so today I'm making the cookies for the baby shower. So what you will need is the little Nutter Butter um, cookies and they have to be this peanut shape. They do have little round ones, but they have to be the original peanut shape. Um, you will need pink candy melts. Uh, you can use Wilton brand this. I just grabbed these at Walmart. Um, black icing, because um, this will have to dry. I am using a Wilton number two tip. Um, and I have a coupler that I'm pretty sure that can just go on here. I really very rarely ever use these. And then you can have any kind of decorations that you want. I was trying to find a really small little itty bitty sugar pearls, but I think I'm just going to use this little, um, crystallized pink crystals. And, um, and what I'm going to be using to melt my candy melts with is the Wilton candy melt pot. Um, I already have it on. I'm going to put the candy melts in. Um, and I also have a big cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. It's over here off to the side. Um, but yeah, so I, like I said, I already have my candy melt pot on. This is not necessary. This is from one of my subscribers, Miss Kara. Again, thank you so, so much. I mentioned her in a lot of my videos. If it wasn't for her and her generosity, I would not have this to use, which I feel like it's going to make my life a whole lot simpler and easier today. Fingers crossed, so much to do, but I'm like, I have all day dedicated to the mermaid cake. But here is um, the Wilton candy melting pot. Like I said, not necessary, but if you do work with chocolate a lot, um, or even if you don't, but if you have a project like this and the chocolate needs to stay melted just to make time go by a little faster, then yes, maybe you would want to think about getting a Wilton um, candy pot. So I'm going to actually just put this whole bag in. What I like about this is that the little pot itself, this is um, really warm, is, um, is silicone. So easy cleanup. I would probably let my, I'm going to actually, this has three settings. So here's the pot it's on. Um, this is off and I think this is just warm and then the two lines is hot. It didn't really say in the instruction manual. It has rubber feet so it's not going to slide all over the place. So I'm going to open these candy melts. Oh, there's a little easy tie thing. So I'm going to pour these in. I'm just going to pour the whole bag in. And um, I'm going to, when these melt, I will come back and uh, we'll start the whole cookie um, decorating process. Because you're going to have to be quick. Uh, well, I'm going to have to be quick because I do have my fan on. I have it super chilly in the house. I have the dehumidifier on. That's what this thing is right here and that's what the background noise is i am so sorry but i cannot have any humidity in the air right now especially when i start making this cake and start decorating it and with the fondant and everything i need to keep the humidity out of the house so um as much as possible anyway it's windy it's i don't know it's like 20 mile 30 mile an hour wind today with like really high wind gusts um let's pray our power doesn't go out 
that would suck so bad um so yeah it's like super hot today or super um windy and everything today so and um yeah so let's get enough of me yakking and let's start decorating okay so before i get started um i just want to let you know about 15 minutes has passed and the candy melts are still melting but they are um i'm gonna probably start with what i have i also have a little spatula that i use um i love this little thing because it's just so teeny tiny um so i do have one of these just to kind of stir and um get the candy melts like off the bottom and just kind of scrape down the sides and everything just to kind of make sure and rotate your chocolate um and i also did just for the fluency or flu to make it a little bit more fluid um i did add like a half a tablespoon or um yeah probably about a half a tablespoon of crisco shortening i don't have coconut oil but it serves the same purpose and i've always done that before just a little bit but just to kind of keep it a little bit more um fluid so i'm actually going to start um it still has some um chunks in it once this is melted um i did have it on the low setting i thought i bumped it up to high but i did not um so now i have it on high once it gets on high and um all the chocolate is fully melted i'm gonna bump it back down to the middle setting because you don't want your chocolate to burn so um and i'm practically almost there anyway so like i said once this gets down uh, once it starts melting you're pretty good so i'm gonna start getting this underway <laughs> all right so now that my candy melts are all melted in the melting pot um i did i think i mentioned that i did add a little tablespoon of crisco just to kind of make it a little bit more fluid um i'm opening up i'm struggling <laughs> to open up the pack of nutter butters this is hilarious i could not get them open to save my life so now i'm just literally just dipping it in and i'm taking my spatula and I'm picking a line on the Nutter Butter to push the chocolate up to. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want a nice straight line and I want it to really flow with the cookie. And I'm also um, trying to like get it in between the cracks where the two cookie meets. And I'm just shaking all the excess off and laying it down on my um, parchment line cookie sheet. And I'm putting my sprinkles on now, of course, because um, you definitely, you know, want them to be t and stay on while the chocolate is melted. Um, here I tried to get overzealous uh, pretty quickly and try to do two cookies at once. Um, it wasn't a very bright idea, so um, I just took my time and stuck with the one and um, no two at once. But, um, but yeah, so I mean, it's really pretty simple. Just do it. Um, stick them in halfway. Some of them I did a little shorter, some I did a little longer. Okay, so once you have all your little itty bitty babies in a blankie, you're gonna wanna take your Wilton icing and I uh, have a what Wilton tip do I have on? I have a very fine Wilton tip. I'm sure I mentioned it at the beginning of the video. Um, and then you're just going to want to pipe on the little curly cues and the little eyes and the little mouths. I did on the bottom too. I did try to make pacifiers, but it wasn't working out. But this is where you're going to see my weakness because I'm terrible at piping. And to pipe on another butter is pretty challenging the only good thing about that though with the nutter butters is that you kind of had the little holes to kind of use as guides <clears throat> which is what i did to make the eyes and the mouth i did try to make little eyelashes wasn't happening <laughs>
So because I really didn't care for the curly cues, um, I decided that the cookies still needed a little something because I have to be extra all the time. I hate being extra. <laughs> so I am taking, I believe this was either um, the little, it was either old cake tester or one of those little things for cookies because I used to use them for cookies as well. And I'm just dipping it in the chocolate and I'm putting a dot in like one of those little um, like peanut holes, I guess you could say, little peanut square cavity. And I have this little jar. I got this jar at Walmart and it has the prettiest colors. And all these colors are going to be added um, into the mermaid theme. It's going to match the jellyfish and everything else. So I wanted to also incorporate that into these little cookies. So in this mix, it has little turquoise hearts. And in the middle, I'm putting a variety of things. I'm putting little purple sugar pearls, um, little pink sugar pearls. Um, little flat white um, sprinkles so I'm just kind of going through them and just kind of like doing it to where it looks like the little bow is holding the little curly cue I don't know why I call them curly cues it's what I always call them but um, I know that's a reference to something probably from a long time ago <laughs> but yeah so here I am with my tweezers and I'm just putting them putting them sprinkles on man <laughs> There we go, ta-da, aren't they so cute? All right guys, so this is the completed collection of the Nutter Butter Babies. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these little itty bitty treat bags, just like this, and I'm going to take them and just tap off the excess sugar, put one in a little treat bag and then wrap it up like so. And that way they can just grab them from the table. They have these little twist ties with these um, for the treat bags. So as they dry, some of them are already dry and because I have to be extra, I had to put the little bows on them because I don't think the curly cue was doing it for me. So I'm just going to do this twist tie as tight as I can, wrap it around, twist tie it again, and you know what, they actually look cute laying down. So there's a little cute baby in a blanket nutter butter. I really had to put the bows on it. The hair was kind of driving me crazy. I'm super super excited for these they're super cute of course these are my two trial and error ones I wanted to give them a little pacifier but it really wasn't working for me and then this was the first one it's all kind of jacked up I might give that one to my son but um but yeah so all right guys I need to bag these and then get the cake started I need to be, I want it to be started by now but alas other things had to get done um, so yeah the gift baskets done the cookies are now done now I just have to bag them up and be ready to go all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video this is again another super easy mode um, little DIY I call these like candy crafts because even though it's cookie you are using candy melts and you're decorating them so I consider this type of thing like a candy craft so I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. Alright guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye!